This video outlines the steps for donning and doffing Clean Space Halo Powered Air Purifying Respirator, or PAPR, with half mask. It is recommended that the PAPR is donned and doffed using a buddy system, with a trained observer using a checklist. Health workers should not use the PAPR unless they have been fitted for the correct mask size, neck support and harness settings by a recognised trainer. They should also have received training in donning and doffing appropriate PPE and be deemed competent by a recognised trainer. Each facility will have its own guidelines for the kinds of PPE that should be worn with the PAPA. Place the Clean Space Halo power unit and accessories on a trolley and wheel to the anteroom or exterior of the patient's room. It is the responsibility of the wearer to select the appropriate accessories and settings as per their fit check. To don the PAPA, you will need the Clean Space Halo Half Mask, small, medium or large, based on your fit check or fit test. A harness. A power unit and filter. A neck support. A protective sleeve. Some facilities might choose not to use a protective sleeve. Steri Plus, exhalation valve casing and filter. If a Steri Plus is not available, a surgical mask may be used. You will need other PPE, for example, disposable gloves, a fluid resistant gown, eye protection, and head cover if you are working in a theatre. Remove any jewellery and ensure you are bare below the elbows. Pull your hair back off the face and neck so as to avoid the power unit and harness positions. Before using the Clean Space Halo, you will need to perform some safety checks on the power unit. First, perform hand hygiene. Now, visually check the entire respirator system, including the blower, mask, bellows and filter for damage, cracks, tears, distortion or dirt. Press the power button to place the power unit in standby. At least two LED lights must be showing. Three is optimal to guarantee more than 85% battery charge. If a filter is already inserted, check there are no cracks on the filter case, that it is fitted correctly and the locking pin is down. If you need to insert a filter, check that the area where the filter sits in the motor unit is clean. If necessary, wipe it with a clean cloth. Check the filter expiry date and that the filter and black seal are intact. Insert the filter, making sure that it is fitted correctly and the locking pin is down. Perform a flow test if required by your facility. Place the respirator flat on a table or surface and ensure it is in standby mode and that the mask is not connected. Press and release the button marked flow test. The motor will run fast and air will be discharged from the active arm of the bellow. After two seconds, the respirator reports the result of the test using the LEDs on the keypad. Only use the device if all three LEDs light up. There are a number of neck support options. Standard, a support with longer arms for smaller necks and no neck support for larger necks. Ensure the correct neck support is fitted to the power unit as identified during your fit check. If you need to change the neck support to your setting, you can do this by unclipping the two round feet at the top of the neck support and sliding it off downwards. Slide the appropriate neck brace onto the power unit and clip into the holes. There are three sizes of the PAPA face piece or mask, small, medium and large. Check that the mask is the correct size fitted for you during your fit check. Remove the mask from the pack. Check that the exhalation valve is in place and the silicon leaf is not folded. 
If it is folded, twist the conical piece on the inside of the mask until the leaf sits flat in the exhalation valve. Using your thumbs, block the air inlets on both sides of the mask. Place mask over face and breathe in sharply. If there is a good seal, the mask should collapse inwards. Hold your breath. As long as you cannot hear any air escaping and the mask does not recover, the fit check is okay. If the mask seal slowly recovers, there is a leak. Readjust the mask fit and repeat the negative pressure seal check. If you cannot achieve a good seal, do not proceed. Try a different mask or notify your buddy or manager. Once you pass the fit check, place the face piece mask with nose upwards on the trolley. The exhalation valve on the mask allows unfiltered air to be exhaled by the wearer into the environment. The use of a SteriPlus filter will prevent this. Alternatively, a surgical mask can be used. To prepare the SteriPlus, perform hand hygiene. Remove the casing from the pack and separate the two pieces. Insert a new filter into the blue outer case. Ensure filter tabs are positioned in the case slots to hold the filter in place. Align the slot of the white inner case to the left side of the blue outer case. Then close and clip the case shut on the right hand side. Align the assembled case with filter to the mask exhalation cap so the outer case vents are at the bottom of the mask. Click the case onto the exhalation valve seat. Note the exhalation valve cap can remain in place. The head harness can be adjusted in two ways. The button holes at the base of the head strap. The two silicon straps. Ensure the harness settings are adjusted to those identified during your fit check and that left and right sides are identical. Attach the harness, making sure the front sign is facing toward the nose of the mask. Lift the harness up to ensure the straps are not tangled. Place the mask with nose facing upward on the trolley and flip the harness over the front of the mask. Expand both bellows by pressing the silver buttons on the sides of the power unit. Press the power button to place the power unit on standby. Slide the protective sleeve over the power unit. Some facilities might choose not to use a protective sleeve. Clip the mask to the power unit on the right side. You will now don the PAPA. Check that the power unit is still in standby. Place the power unit with mask around your neck. 
Bring the left side power unit clip to your chest so you can see it and clip the mask to the power unit. Move the power unit back to the central position and place the mask on your face. Position the head harness on the crown of your head. Take a sharp breath in to activate the power unit. Adjust the two bellows until you do not feel any leaks between the mask cushion and your face. Do not over tighten. The buddy now checks that the mask is sitting under your chin and that the apex of the mask sits comfortably on the nose bridge. Ensure the bellows are not too tight and adjusted symmetrically on both sides. The power unit should sit level and feel comfortable. If using a protective sleeve, the buddy should now check that the sleeve is covering the bellows. If a Steriplus is not being used, place the surgical mask over the exhalation valve now. Put on your eye protection, either a face shield or safety glasses. Inspect your PPE with the buddy. The buddy should check that the power unit is responding to your breathing. Check that no alarms are sounding. Now you are ready to enter the patient zone. When you are ready to exit the patient area, remove the appropriate PPE inside the patient room and exit to the doffing area. You will need a doffing trolley with a disposable fluid resistant sheet, alcohol based hand rub, disposable gloves. To doff the papa, first perform hand hygiene. Remove your eye protection. If it is a single use item, place in the general waste bin. If it is reusable, clean your eye protection before placing in a clean area. Perform hand hygiene. If using a surgical mask, remove it now. Untie the bottom ties first. Take care to keep the mask away from you to avoid contamination. Discard into general waste bin. Don a clean pair of disposable gloves. To remove your papa, push your chin out and take your elbows out to the side. Slide your harness off your head in a forward motion. With your left hand, locate the air clip pinch point that will release the mask from the power unit. With the thumb of your right hand, locate the battery charging point on the underside of the power unit. Place your right index finger on the power button directly above on top of the power unit, but do not press it. Hold your breath, then press and release the power button to put into standby mode. Keep holding your breath and with your left hand, pinch to unclip the mask. Leaning forward, remove the papa forward and away from your body, minimizing contact with the mask. Do not breathe until the mask is well away from your face. Place on a disposable fluid resistant sheet. Do not try to switch the power unit off. It will stay in standby for three minutes, then automatically power off. Remove your gloves and perform hand hygiene. You have now removed the clean space halo and are ready to perform point of care cleaning.